So got a nice day. It takes a while seemingly for it to for it to warm up out here. If you look back far enough on the channel, I have videos about us coming up to our new property for the first time. We moved from Southern Ontario to uh, Northwestern Ontario. We've been up here on the property for, I want to say like eight months now. We lived in uh, the cabin. There's a cabin originally on the property. And while our house is being built and all our utilities and septic, hydro, well, water supply system, water treatment. So while all those systems installed and finalized and I was working with our contractor and other contractors got in our house just before the winter kind of settled in out of the gun range or what what will be the gun range so i want to have somewhere nice and private and quiet and far away from our house and our everything our just our well and all our structures and well away from anyone around here and i found this natural part of our property has a big hill so this is temporary this is just for non-restricted stuff shotguns rifles anything that's legal still which isn't much in this country but there's still things and then eventually down the road we're going to go through the process of getting a cfo approved range so that we can be range operators and i can shoot my handguns and other restricted firearms legally on my own private property it's uh it's a long process it's not easy there's a lot of stipulations insurance and things like that but it's not it's not impossible either there's, there's lots of guys in canada that have private shooting lanes that are cfo approved not not a lot but they're i've seen them i know they i know they exist so it is doable i've already started the process the cfo obviously whoever it is in your province or municipality i don't live in a municipality but i'll still have to get approved uh by the provincial cfo so they'll come out they'll check it out but it's a lot of machine work i talked to my contractor and for a hundred long 25 meter wide shooting lane you've got to clear trees you've got to grub all the stuff on the ground you got to level it lay down gravel so it's not just a muck pit you got to build berms i forget what the stipulated height of the berm is but it's it's really tall so i want to make sure i'm doing my due diligence and i'm building everything as best i can and as safe as i can i'm going to take down a couple couple more trees need some to build some stuff with out here like a, a bench and some stuff like that and i'm 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 cutting out a few different shooting lanes and like that kind of go around the start of this big hill that i'm going to use as a natural berm so i need to clear out all the junk trees and the stuff on the ground so i'm just going to finish off today i wasn't quite i i ran out of time before the snow came and i did what i could I've got to get these these plate racks together so i'll hang all my uh, ar500 steel off of these to shoot at so these are just cut down trees i cut down to clear this these lanes and skin them and cut them to size and notch them and so i'm gonna make uh you'll see you'll see uh, i'm gonna make a separate video of that because i'm not making them today so we'll get the saw started just kind of an update to like the shooting range what what i'm up to uh the winter's tough it's tough it's cold like we went through a couple stretches where it was like when it's minus 30 minus 40 out i was still outside splitting wood and stuff because we, we we fell behind and i didn't quite get that done before the winter so kind of as things went i was i was always making kindling or splitting wood you're always outside doing something when you have a, a an acreage it's just there's always something to do especially when it's brand new to you and you've got a lot to do as far as shooting goes anyone i've ever shot with has always called me a fair weather shooter because i don't i don't like shooting in the snow and the cold and the wind and the rain i'm just i'm not that kind of person it's not like it's for me it's unenjoyable when it's wind whipping me in the face or it's too fucking hot so i'm a fair weather shooter so i'll only be shooting out here when it's nice but uh in time once i get that cfo approved range i'll i'll build a little bunky and put a little propane heater in it and windows and stuff so i can literally be inside and i can shoot that's way down the road somebody's gonna have to start patreon me or something there's gotta be some rich person out there that loves the entrepreneurial spirit and uh likes guns too get this started oh. over 
making the mistake of not bringing wedges with me the tree leaned back on my bar and it got stuck but it was so cut up and so it's you know 50 feet tall I just pushed it over uh, not the safest thing I guess <laughs> Surprising, this is about the first issue I've run into. I just flipped my chain. These junk trees are really, um, it's not like they're the toughest or anything, but they're very spongy. They like to catch the saw, the teeth, or the, the blade. And then if it gets off track, it gets, and then you kind of twist a little bit, because I'm doing kind of weird angles here, trying to be kind of lazy, trying to make it easier on my back so I don't have to bend as much. I know I have a big bar on it, but still. Okay, I'm gonna get this chain back on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So it's hard for uh, somebody who hasn't been progressively either watching me doing this or actually doing it. It's hard to tell what kind of progress I've made, but um, this literally was another hole in the bush covered in scrub and trees and it's uh, it was a lot. So it's all nice and clear now. The goal eventually is to be able to get a gator into here or like a ATV or side by side, whatever, something drivable. So today I got from here, all the junk cleaned out, all the junk. And then I took out like maybe four or five trees or something like that. We're buying a brushing machine. It's like, a, it's like an industrial weed whacker, basically. It can take out stuff like this, like these things. Like that's not, like you can't weed whack or that kind of stuff. And I've tried coming out here with loppers and coming out and just doing it by hand, but there's, there's millions of them. I can't, I just, I'd be crippled by the time I finish and I'd never be able to walk again. So I can't possibly do that. So I've got some clearing left to do. I'm gonna clear out into here. There's two, those guys, there's two giant poplars. They've gotta be, with the growing season up here, they've gotta be at least a hundred years old. So they're big trees for here anyway. Uh, so I want to clear a nice view to them so I can kind of, I don't know, just nice something nice to look at at the shooting range, make it aesthetically more pleasing.